We're allowed to be here. We're legal. Gotta hand it to Hanson, V. Party's hopping. Has a sense of grandeur. Didn't have shit like this in my day. Now hop on over there and help me out. Manage to forget what real champagne tastes like. Hmm, if we have time. Is this... This is Saul! I didn't get a good look at him. Is he wearing sunglasses? Vargists. Phantom Liberty, the story, is supposed to be like a spy thriller, apparently. So this is the part where we're like, James bonding it up in some casino. Infiltration and all. I'll be at the bar if you need me. Alright. We should be asking who's not here. NCPD commissioner? Politicians? Diplomats? Celebrities? Corp sex? Gang bosses? Welcome. Well, handsome. Would you care for a maybe. beverage? It's literally as if he's defecating truffles and caviar while they've all lined up to hold their plates up to his ass. I mean, they want to gobble up what he's serving. He's got absolute power in Dogtown. Hi. Don't mind if I do. A pleasant evening to you. Thank you, thank you. We have new variables to consider. Perales's campaign, the mm. investigation. No, no, I, I know that it was specially done for us. Payment is not what's at issue. I just need the paperwork to go with it. Is there no alternative? Here's the deal. Either Deputy we Mayor. some proof of purchase or there's another path. Non-violent, I should add. Meaning what, exactly? Meaning, you sue us. Take us to court. Put on a show for the people. I'm prepared to testify that this, uh, undertaking hmm? was commissioned by City Hall. We will discuss this at a later time. Of course, I'm always open to compromise. Arasaka and Weldon Holt, Deputy Mayor. I remember Paralus. Jefferson. Celebrities, hot shots. It's not about your upbringing. Look, I'm a self-made man. Borrowed a hundred grand from my parents and invested it in myself. Uh. Didn't go spending it all on sin coke and expensive ass, but on implants and training. Gave it all back the second I could. Exactly. It's about self-discipline and ambition. If you're poor, you really have no one to blame but yourself. Yeah, he's a self-made man, you hear? Ziggy Q, I, I vaguely remember you. I was like, this guy looks familiar. Guests who want to sit alone, don't want to be disturbed. It was carried out just as we agreed. No, you imbecile. I'm the chief of the NC fucking PD, not some busboy. Jerry Falter. I cuts 30%. I won't get the financing otherwise. I want three more shipments before the end of the month. Three's a lot. This is not up for debate. Either you set up three for takedown, or tomorrow morning, we start kicking down your doors. NCPD commissioner, yeah, making a deal with Sixth Street. <laughs> NCPD chief's cutting a deal with the Sixth Street boss. Not even trying to hide it. Party's a microcosm of Night City. NCPD's a gang like any other. Except it's listed on the stock exchange. What? The NCPD is listed on the stock exchange? <laughs> that in itself is kind of concerning. Wow, you guys look like you're having so much fun. Wow, you look miserable. <laughs> I'll have another drink. Appreciate it. Thanks. They have a uniform look for all their staff. It's kind of freaky. People in the corners. Aren't you all supposed to be making business deals and all? Uh, we need equipment that can withstand and remain reliable in extremely low temperatures. Our Argentinian friends made me aware of that. 
We've reached an initial agreement for 30 air defense systems, 500 armored vehicles, and 100 combat AVs. And in addition to that, personnel equipment for 5,000 operators, as well as two nuclear submarines. 2078 is our current ETA. Mm, a, a little late. What about testing? It's the testing that determines the date. You can have everything by January, but with lower quality testing. I understand. We'll iron out the details, I'm sure. Even mobsters making arms deals. Oh, I'm a little hungry. The scallop is being conducted here. Just overheard an arms deal, enough gear to outfit a private army. I'm not surprised. Look around. Run your eyes over the faces. Regalia. You got foreign ambassadors, Banana Republic dictators, revolutionaries in waiting, corporate heads. It's precisely those kind of needs Hanson and company are here to fulfill. What does Dogtown have for them? I'll check out the perimeter first, maybe. This place is easy to lose track of. This isn't about who has the right credentials. You just have to speak Hanson's language. You think Hanson will agree to revitalize 10% of the zone because of a few trumped up military slogans? That's not what I mean. He needs to be shown his projected profits and losses in plain writing without any sugar coating. So you think I'm sugar coating? You signed a contract with Night City, well done. Just leave Hanson to me, because, no offense, I know you'll find a way to cock it up. Ah, the dream of restoring Pacifica to its intended glory lives on. Overheard some investors. Ready to watch their cash disappear into Hanson's pockets. Great of them. Wow, the view here is unlike any other. Is that outside Dogtown? No, we're still staring. Staring? Oh no, it's over here then, I guess. Yeah, it should be outside Dogtown. Damn. Who am I? Do I have a cover story? For why I'm here? Feel a little bit out of my element. This guy has something, right? He's glowing green. V, this guy looks exactly like your Ronin. Unfucking canny. Sure that ain't Takamura? Okay, just one more. Is it or is it not? How do we know? Yes. You look exactly like my friend Goro Takamura. Did he also just get out of rehab? Lost his employer recently. They were close. He's adjusting to his new life. Not easy for a guy like him. Tell him not to lose hope. If one is industrious, there is no shortage of work in Night City. <laughs> Maybe your friend would like to try his hand at show business. I could use a double for rainy days. You're in showbiz? <laughs> Might actually take you up on that. I'll let him know. Watch out. I will hold you to your word. <laughs> Give me your number. I'll, I'll call you later on. Yo. Huh. That's weird. Your drink's up. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You don't have to pay for anything in here. Because being in here is already enough of an achievement as it is. Yeah. Tiger claws. All of this is up for grabs. All of it? Except for Haywood. What about Santo Domingo? Nobody cares about Santo Domingo. My people tell me that all land transit to and from Night City passes through here. Who cares about land transit? We own the port, the docks, the airport. The airport's also ours. But the nomads battle over the highway with 6th Street. 
I could make two million a day on Metroplex runs alone. You and my friends over there, all we need to do is team up. Hmm. We'll have to think about it. Every gang is here. No competition. Soviet mob was the worst scum. Human trafficking, murder for hire, torture based debt collection. Shit sounds bad as is, but they actually managed to turn the horror up a notch. What can we say? Innovation in every field. Who is this? Reverend Culver. Huh. Hey, haven't I seen you on the feeds? Warning people about the relic? God's light shine upon you. You're here too. The relic. I wish your warning got to me. <laughs> Even the pastor warning peeps about the relic on the feeds made an appearance. Maybe he's here to save Hanson, or all collect donations for his church. End of the day, blood money still money. Supernova, the unofficial biography of Lizzie Wizzy. The turning point in her career came in 2069 when Lizzie unveiled herself in her true cyber-modified form, an erotic reimagining of Snow White. At the end of her concert, Lizzie ate a synthetic apple laced with specially prepared poison that induced cardiac arrest. Wow. For a full minute, the LED screens showed a close-up of the flat line on her electrocardiogram while her body lay motionless on the stage. The concert was put on hold for five and a half hours while a team of Ripper docs swapped out her biological organs for the latest generation of more E Technologies implants. Live? Live streamed? After being revived, Lizzie Stang restart, reheart, repeat, which sat at the top of the world charts for the next full year. I always felt like my mission was to cross the ultimate frontier, she later said in an interview. That frontier is death. Lizzie's anarcho-terrorist performances are inspired by the artist's frequent stylistic transformations. She's been used to giving away used clothes to friends before simply leaving them out on the street for people. She wanted to do the same with implants, but those are linked to the user and can't just be given away. Lizzie Wizzy is best known for her war against implant homogenization, by mounting an armed assault against a Biodyne Systems factory, during which Lizzie and her people took control of a building and stole 1,200 different implants that were then given out during impromptu concert. The heist was broadcast live, an insurance for Lizzie. She knew nobody would kill her or harm her, but that's still... That's like a crime, isn't it? An armed assault? In the years following, the media argued that the heist was arranged beforehand with Biodyne and that Lizzie paid for the implants and the renovation of the factory. That theory is seemingly supported by the fact that Biodyne never pressed charges, and she's she's still okay. But Lizzie says that Biodyne is instead co-opting her for free advertising. It's kind of like clickbait stuff, but taken to its extreme. You gotta do the most insane of things if you want to get attention. I am absolutely drinking everything I can here. Enjoy. Thank you. Thanks. Oh. So, Kurt Hansen, Duke of Dogtown, oh. in the flesh. More mutt than Alpha Hound looks like. He's right here. Heavy subdermal armor, charge jump, flashbangs, Santa Vista, Mark One. Oh, this guy, we've seen his name before too, Yago. Well, we can't disturb them. And we wouldn't particularly want to either. I actually think we've seen most people here then. Yeah, the important people are highlighted. The mayor is here. There's somebody upstairs. Josh Kavorkin. What's going on up there? Mr. Kavorkin. Uh, do I know you? Sorry, I have an important hollow to make. Oh. Yeah, all the hottest markets. 
analysis, information integration, candlestick patterns detection, indicator search. Sure, it's free. Very funny. Who do you think I am? BD director? We must have well, met him before. No, it's just supposed to look free. That's the whole angle. We'll talk more tomorrow, Mom. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> Love you too. Bye. He's phoning his mom at this kind of party. Lots of faces familiar off the media feeds. They would have missed this on the wall. This is an adrenaline kick. They get off on it. And Hansy he gets off on having on hands out of his hand. And puke all over his carpets. Respect. Shut up, Johnny. I'm just... I'm just sampling all the fine drinks there are here, that's all. Uh, this is a huge party, it's got a second floor and all that too. Although anyone relevant? We actually see cars in the distance moving and all that. It's crazy to me. Mr. Hands. Mr. Hands. Here as well, Hands. Indeed. It's better if we're not seen together. I don't know you, but enjoy your evening. <laughs> Just saw Hands. Felt to me like he's here on a mission of his own. He likely is. But just telling the business gathering intel. He texted me again. I don't think I'm allowed to read it right now, though. All right. Very good, very good. It's a big party. Oh, there's even more. Wow, this is huge. And I told them to do a full faceplate conversion. Whatever she wants, just do it. I don't care. If she wants a gator's face, fine. Throw in a nice set of sharp white teeth while you're at it, huh? Know what they said? Exotics went out of style three decades ago. These days, everybody wants... Well, you know what. I just fucking lost it. I'm talking myself worse for serious sons. And some ripper quack is gonna explain fashion trends to my daughter. In the end, they shut their traps and gave me a discount, but I had to disown her. I mean, if she what? wants to inherit my money, she'll have to look like human royalty. Any other mods? On her now. The lives of these rich people. Stanley, no last name. It's so rich, they just live in a completely different world entirely. What's this? Roulette. Types of bets. The players can make the following bets. Red, black, even, odd, 1 to 18, 19 to 36. 1 to 1 payout for all of these ones. Dozens. 1 to 12, 13 to 24, 25 to 36. That's 2 to 1. Columns. First, second, third. 2 to 1. Apart from these safe bets, there is a number of high-risk sucker bets that entice players with high winnings but almost always decimate their bankrolls. Six line, basket, corner, street, split, and the most spectacular and statistically improbable straight, where players bet on any single number including zero for a payout of 35 to 1. Just telling you how to play roulette? Yeah, so there's 36 numbers and you, you try to see if you can guess the right one. I'm sure it doesn't mean much for the people here. All of them have got money. Am I gonna puke? The animations are slightly different. It's not always the same across all the bartenders. Am I gonna puke? I'm good. I'm good. I feel like I've seen you already. You just moved, didn't you? Thanks. Uh, just a little tipsy. The same? Again? Again? Gambling. This I swear. Unbelievable. Starting tomorrow. <laughs> this table is full. Please join another. Thank you. 
I'm you good. Kurt was pleased, so I'm puzzled why he withheld his support. If only in your negotiations with the bald twerp from the consulate. I think he wished to appear neutral. For public consumption, of course. We didn't put two ministers behind bars to have him appear neutral now. That ship has sailed. Mumbai branch is losing patience fast. Remind him tomorrow. Naturally, of course. Well, here goes nothing. Kurt Hansen's power in Dogtown is probably a lot... He has a lot more power than a lot of people in Night City. Greetings from Des Moines. Jump in the urinal and stand on your head. I'm the one that's alive. You're all dead. All right. I saw you simping for that mangy slut from N54. Simping? Honey, I was just being nice. Ugh, they don't pay you to be nice. You're supposed to be tending to business. You know, I could tell Carlos I talked to the cartel alone again because my husband caught a whiff of available pussy. Tell you what, I'll talk to Carlos. Just so happens the mangy slut from N54 disclosed some shit he'll be very interested in hearing, honey. Getting along very well, this couple. All of the conversations here are about political maneuvering. The table is being prepared. Betting will resume in minutes. How many minutes? Come on, come on. One more win. Just one more. People betting like crazy around here. Oh, you betcha I'm gonna get one last drink. See, look, the animations are not exact same. Sometimes they consider, mm, okay, I'll get this drink for you. Here you are. Thanks. Okay, I'm drunk as hell now. Want to get the mission going? Anybody else we gotta meet? Probably not. I drank from you already? Thanks a lot. Imagine if I just flatline myself from drinks. I don't see any more green. Oh, hold up. I didn't visit that well, side no. yet. I know as much as you do. All she said was to come here. She'll either find us or she left us something. And you, what's your play? One second, all right. I'll be right back. I just want to do a quick sweep of this side as well. The BD director moved. He's over here now. You want to talk at all? Usually at the ends of this is where stuff might be. What's so surprising about me being here? Yes, what is it? Jillian Jordan. The news reporter? Jillian Jordan and Arif Iqbal? In the flesh and together, no less. I just wanted to say hi. Um, hey. It's the, the radio and TV people. Um, uh, where were we? <laughs> What's so surprising about me being here, getting invited? Hanson's always been a civil, reasonable man. Jillian, dear, there's nothing smart about shooting your boss down over your own turf. Not to mention proving incapable of then finishing the job. Keep your fucking voice down. You were just singing Hanson's praises for his civility. Are we now back to scary maniac? Ugh, say what you want, Arif. Just don't come crying if you get kicked out of the party of the year. You're the one accusing him of attempting to murder President Rosalind Myers in front of millions of viewers, no less. That's the job, as we all know. Fucking reading words off a prompter for the gonk masses. Whereas here, my friend, here, words actually matter. I don't know if they write news anchors, do they write their own script, or are they just the ones saying it out loud? I imagine, well, they probably... It would be a waste of resources to hire someone just to write, and then they're not the ones reading it. Alright. Oh god, what is that? Why did you let me see it? Now I have to read it. Riff and Fluff! What the heck is this? Fishy Graz has died. Rapper. Oh, a rapper died. After his track Coma Blues, he was found unresponsive. Ooh. <gasps> Throat and wrists slit. Discovered in a pool of his own blood. 
But it doesn't seem to be a cyberpsychotic break. These artists. Oh, it's like different news topics on music related stuff. About BDs, about how. Are we going back to chiptunes? Alright, Reed. Sorry for the wait. I've made you wait long enough. Got a pretty good overview of the party like this. And now I get a good look at you, Reed. Wow, looking cool. Think I'm starting to feel the vibe. Just remember what we're here for. To my right, Booth's far back behind the stairs. The guy in the fatigues. Looks like he came here straight from a firing range. Owner of the Black Sapphire, Mr. D-Town himself, Kurt Hansen. Clearly having a great night in the company of the NCPD commissioner. PA Broadcast, we fiercely anti-law enforcement. It's an act. Behind closed doors, he's rubbing elbows and patting backs of NCPD's top brass. Avoid him, especially in the confrontation. Beside that, stay visible. Songbird said she'd find us here. Let's give her a chance. I'll grab a drink and look around. Open line on comms. Oh, I've already looked around. Don't press anyone too hard. We need to keep Would up you appearances. For a drink? Look like you're having fun. Gin and tonic, please. Oh. Say, I'm looking for a friend. You're supposed to meet me here. Okay. Does your friend have a name? Song Somi, Korean lady. You're Around just gonna 30. say it? Hmm. Might have seen her around on this floor. Look up on the mezzanine, says Songbird. Quite an entrance. Excellent work. They appear unaware of both the security breach and their uninvited guest. I'm impressed, V. Thank you, Mr. Hans. The journalist one I'll read later. Was she alone? Was she? No. No, she was with Colonel Hansen, I think. But he's in sight with other people now, and she ain't one of them. Yeah, I can see that. Have one on me later, yeah? I'm surprised Saul would just... As you wish, sir. Like, he would just go and ask someone directly, Hey, have you seen Songbird? I guess he paid the guy off, but still. Hey! Sami! V, it's good you're here. Not what you expected, huh? Oh! Is it the haircut? Wow. You are chromed up. <laughs> Dress looks good on you. Thank you. That was the surprising bit, I'm sure. <laughs> well, you're a netrunner. It's so good you're here. Don't know what I'd do without you, V. Really. Well, that didn't exactly give me a choice now, did you? Told me to show up here and just ghost it. The, uh, runner. Your friend. Who, who helped us reconnect last time. Killed him. Fried him, didn't I? Not a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shouldn't blame yourself. Reed practically forced the guy to make the connection. Besides, better him than us, right? I ran out of time. To explain... Everything. Saul. I've made... So many mistakes. It's all right, son. Not your fault. The blame's on us. All of it. On you? I is all of them. I know what they made you do. They pushed and pushed, and I... I wasn't there to stop it. Listen, guys. We do not have the time for this now. Right. Main thing is to get you out of here. That's not happening. It is. We got in, we can get out. Just Not trust the me. point. I'm dying, Saul. Like V. Hansen has the cure we need. 
We run now, we both die. Relic's killing V. Blackwall's my poison. I can't bow out now. That's the medical diagnosis from earlier. Kind of related. The panic. Slight moments of panic. Whoa. Sharing a boat to oblivion with me? Could have said something. Had no time. Still don't. But hear me out. I need help. Your help. Hansen pulled some tech out of a bunker under Dogtown. Tech that could cure both V and me. We need to clep it. Only way I see of doing that is to stay close. Play the prisoner. So fuck. We'll wait for an opportunity and pounce. I'll be on the inside. Ask for your help when the time's right. I can flee once I have that tech. Nothing's ever simple, is it? Ah, so me. Care to introduce your friends? It's not often I'm simply not familiar with guests attending my own party. And I never forget a face. Kurt Hansen. Name's V. Just V. Haven't seen so me in years. Trying to catch up. Oh, that's what this is. To me, reunions consist of picking up the broken, scattered shards of your heart. Or teeth. Always hurts. Well, I need to grab you, darling. I have a couple NC politicos here who are dying to meet you. He needs her for and something? And to keep hungry rats from devouring Dogtown, we really do need to feed them the occasional scraps. I'm all yours, Kurt. See you soon, V. Whoa. She doesn't seem like much of a prisoner here, so she's relatively free. Oof. Praying it worked. Reestablished our link the moment I touched you. Interesting. I need a minute to process. And I need a drink. Heading downstairs. I'll explain everything. Just need you to listen. Why does your holographic form wear different clothes? I don't know what's going on. What's the deal, Song? Doubt I've ever seen a prisoner parade around in a cocktail dress at a swanky party. Not to mention being hella friendly with their captor. Yeah. It's a charade, V. Doing what I need to survive to get what I want. I'm letting Hansen show me off like his personal trophy. V, I... I can't explain everything now. It's too much. But I really do need your help. All I want is to get that cure for us. It's what I've been chasing all along. Hey, I agree to help you save the president for the cure. I didn't agree to help you for the cure. Not liking this. Not a bit. I don't like my situation either. It's very shit for all three of us. There, I said it. The cure. How do we get it? We need the neural matrix. Secret tech that incorporates AIs from beyond the black wall. The Matrix is nested in a mainframe Hansen pulled out of the bunker. The mainframe secured, but Hansen lacks the key. That's the problem. Neural Matrix? What is it, exactly? In short, it's storage. A carrier for an AI trapped within certain boundary conditions. When the AI is triggered, it'll execute what's stipulated within those conditions. But I really can't go into detail now. We don't have the time. You gotta tell me more if you want me to help, though. Wait, what's the rush? I might be talking to you, but in the flesh I'm with Hansen. I'll need to focus. Play nice in a minute, or he'll suspect something's up. Got a plan? Spill it. Hansen needs me and a duo of runners who worked on this tech in the past. They actually grabbed access codes they're willing to unload for a price. Classic black market shit. They're bringing access, I'm bringing know-how about how to pull the matrix and data off the mainframe. We're to work side by side, giving us a chance. You clip the access codes, then get the runners out of the way. You'll then impersonate them for a meet with Hansen. Say meet or we'll swipe the matrix out from under his nose. And this'll help us? 
Are we gonna use the same tech that Alex was using? So, runners, where to impersonate them? How? Personality theft tech. Arm kind of specializes in it. Alex and Reed know it well, they'll explain. Of all people, couldn't have imagined those two would be on our side, helping. This job, this whole story about Hanson. Not adding up something fierce, Song. You're hiding something, still. I don't have time to explain the ins and outs now. V, please, we need the Matrix. Focus on the runners, find them. They're here, downstairs. Red-headed twins, walled to the teeth with ice. Grocery scans will show you bunk. You're blowing me off. She's not saying anything. Champagne glass over there. Prep some intel for you. Get it to read. You'll need it later. Really need to go now, V. I'm counting on you. Songbird. And she's gone. Can she come back later? What's happening here? We got a party? A concert party? Oh, wow. Incredible. Just dazzling. Oh, I think this is... Is this Grimes? I am going to get a closer look. I know she's got a fancy song in here. I can't scan her. Very cool, but I also feel like when everyone's attentions are split here, probably the best time for us to exit. Reed, you not enjoying the party? Seems your special agent has special needs, trying to drown his sins and sorrows. You should be mad at her. Why are you feeling guilty? Talk to Songbird via the relic. We can communicate again. Hmm. All good there, Reed? Yeah. I just need to process for a minute. It's just how I'm built. A little adversity and I need a few moments to think. Come up with anything? Yeah. We now know who took a swipe of Maya's head. What? What are you thinking? Don't about you, but I see coincidences as patterns. Structures we have yet to recognize. Huh. What you driving at? SF-1 crashes. Not anywhere, but over specific turf. Controlled by someone who found some obscure forgotten tech in a secret bunker. Right. Crash was an inside job. We suspected that from the get-go. Now we know it was. And we know it was Songbird. She was behind it. Hmm. Too early for conclusions, don't you think? Got no proof she planned this in advance. Could have improvised. Reacted to facts. Come on. You don't actually think she learned about the cure just now? She made a deal with Hanson earlier. Had to. Before any of this went down. Traded the president's life for access to the tech. Oh. I mean, it does make sense. 
the NUS press sold to a crime lord. Huge. If true. Myers pressured Somi to reach further, breach boundaries, and then Somi snapped. That's true, though. She could have just not contacted me to begin with. If that was her plan. <sighs> Don't know about that. Song recruited me specifically to pull Myers out of that wreck. I seriously doubt she wanted her dead or snatched by Hanson. It's never that simple, V. As I see it, Somi was playing both sides, simultaneously spinning deals with Hanson and you. She has Hanson set, then you come in. She contacts you via the relic, asks you to rescue the president. Absolution for her right there. You need to cure just as much, guaranteeing you'll help if her plan falls through. And here we are. Yeah, and here we are, rushing to Songbird's rescue. Thinking a few steps ahead was always her strength, but judgment calls and situational assessment, her Achilles heel. As a chess master, she'd be famous for dazzling plays and excruciatingly beautiful defeats. Sheesh, don't know what to believe just yet. That's not surprising. But I know Somi well enough to know she'll do her damnedest to be fair. What does that mean? Fair? Fair to who? Fair to what? So, what are you thinking about all this? I'm not convinced Somi's to blame for everything. In this trade, nothing's ever as it seems. You gotta keep asking questions till you get to the bottom of it. That's experience talking. Main thing now is to get her out of this cesspool of a sitch. Then we'll see which direction to take. Just want what Songbird promised me. The cure. That's it. Understood. I'll handle the rest, the fallout. Right. Back to the sitch at hand. What do we have to do to save her? To grab the tech Songbird and I both need, we gotta go to a meet with Hanson. Prep for it's required. Cause we show up as a pair of runners. Need to collect their identities first. Whatever that means. Personality imprint theft. Sounds like our Colombian job of yore. Who are they and where do we find them? So how's one go about it? Clubbing someone's personality? FIA Menanthropic Tech. Alex has access. You seem to use it already. You look, sound, and act like the individual whose personality you assume. Oh, wow. To do it, we need scans of our targets. It's not even just taking their faces, then. We automatically start acting like them? Song got this shard to me. Take a look. Our targets are a brother and sister, red-haired twins. They're here somewhere, schmoozing. Amerik and Aurora. Hmm. Okay, we need to pull data. Get samples of assorted behavior. We make contact with them, talk, scan as we talk. Got it. I think. So, time to make our move? Over there. With a male twin bio just now, I saw something about how he treats his body as a temple. <laughs> what was that? And then the female twin has been in prison for five years. Wow. Traced them to Flash, Reed. Noticed them some time ago. They stand out even in this mountain pot. Twin roulette, looks like. Alex, you copy that? Radio loud and clear. Prep and scan tech now. You're new to this, but relax. We'll do it as a four-hander. I scan one, you handle the other. Alex will pilot us through. V, zipping funds your way from our operating budget. Load up on chips and join their game. Just don't go all in from the get-go. We stagger our approach, and we're strangers. Let's get to this. We've already been sitting together. Someone must have noticed. Struck gold with roulette, really. Gambling throws people around. High and low, brings the joy of winning and the despair of defeat. Perfect for our purposes. I'm gonna need a drink before that, then. Loosen up my uh, inhibitions and whatnot. Hopefully not my mouth.
All right. Greetings, madam. Want to buy some chips? Of course. Good luck at the tables. $80,000 of chips. I can buy up to 100k, but that's not going to be on company dime. Oh, F it. <laughs> v, important. You're not there to have fun. Simple bets, red or black only. None of the double street or basket bullshit, understood? Understood. What? Need an array of emotions, so provoke. But subtly so, or they'll clam up. Scan will be a bust. All right. But I want to do I want to do a 1 in 35 Eighteen. chance. Will you join Eighteen. us? Red. Of course. Of course. Real estate agent Aurora Cassell. Amara Cassell, Please. accountant. Bettings open? By all means. Make it red. Relax. Buy him drinks. Break the ice. I'll join you momentarily. They went blocked. All bets are in. Bidding is closed. What? No introduction? V. You? Aurore Cassel. And that boy is my brother, Emeric. How's things? Any luck? We started just moments ago. He seems a little bit antisocial. Hey, everyone else is betting on numbers. The one in 35 kind? <laughs> What's your poison? My treat. A bourbon for me. Alas, mon frère does not drink. You heard the lady. And real water for the gentleman here. And what'll you have? Oh, so fancy. G and T, please. Gin tonic. Be right back. Your drinks will be here shortly. I don't want to suck up too much by ordering the same thing. Two. Even. Hey, merde. Ah. Oh. Well, that's all my money gone. Place your bets, please. <sighs> Last chance. Let's go, let's go. Keep going on red. Red. So everyone's doing the whole... V. Can't get a hold of Reed. No idea where he is. Stall for time, okay? Hmm, I just realized. Uh, you must have dirt beneath your fingernails too. Like all these bastards and bitches. That is, unless you're uh, in tourist. Like the no-lifers who must watch others live to feel anything. Provocative, this one. <laughs> what do you think I am? Oh, my, my. One drink and already flirting? Bold. Sixteen. Even. Red. Yeah. Ah, oh, yes. Ah! Fucking done here! Ah! <sighs> Place your bets, please. Can't help feeling I uh, interrupted something when I walked up. Do not worry yourself about this. Oh, come, come. V is just being cordial. N'est-ce pas, V? You weren't snooping just Three. now, were you? Odd. Red. She's already on to me. Still no sign from Reed, V. Got a sinking feeling about this. Place your bets, please. Eight's my magic number, so gonna go with eight. Sure wasn't snooping. No, just being plain courteous. Oh, don't be such a bore. I simply don't like bores. Of course you were snooping, as we are simply too interesting to ignore. Listen, Reed's MIA for now, can't wait for him. Gotta do both scans on your own. Oh my gosh. Well, oh, she's bored, that's good. That's too... Uh, we were discussing local politics, specifically our host, Monsieur Kurt Hansen. Big fish selling big guns for big money. Yet here you have celebrities, politicians, even the chief of police. So I was thinking, uh, perhaps Hansen would do better by being a veritable businessman, no? 
I claim he would. Mon cher frère disagrees. Six. Even. Black. Ugh. Guess it's not my lucky day. They're all even. Place your bets, please. It's gonna keep going red. We don't have anything yet. The scans. Oh my gosh. Okay. Who is Kurt Hansen really? A crucial question. Okay, her, the sister is talking so much, the brother has instead of peep. carefully with that duo, V. What do you think? Will you tell? I think this is a bit too meta. Hansen's a suit without a suit, if you catch my drift. Oh my fucking god, you Americans. Damn it. You used to have more <laughs> imagination. It's fine, it's Tossing fine. You around, v, don't let her. Level the field. Ask a gonk question, get a gonk answer. Deservedly, I'd say. <laughs> Touche. Empty banter aside, a stupid man the colonel is not. He should um, diversifier revenues and assets. Oh, I want money. Place your bets, please. Let's keep going red. Dude, the brother's not saying crap. Tu ne serais pas en train de devenir trop pote avec elle. Oh, fais pas ton jaloux, petit frère. C'est pas comme si on allait baiser, elle et moi. Why? Pretty shameless bastard, aren't you? Oh, I agree. He's very antisocial. I mean, Hansen could take Dog down by the throat, eject the junkies, and make it a paradise for billionaires. Just getting rich is dull. You should work for the community, invest, create jobs, throw banquettes. She's getting chatty. Doing good, V. And charities are excellent washing machines. You launder billions, believe me. Eleven. Odd. Black. Okay, she filled up the entire scan by herself, just by her talking to herself. <laughs> place your bets, please. And you're so childish, it's beautiful. What? Hansen going missionary position in business. Nonsense. <sighs> Reed's still not responding. But you keep working it. Let's go. Swap twins. Swap twins. Should we make him angry? Naive thinking, friend. You wearing digi blinders? Excuse me? For fuck's sake, V. No offense, but <laughs> you're claiming there's no point in Hansen going legal. He's making great scratch as a criminal. Yes? And? Meaning, sure, he can stay in his comfort zone, churn out eddies. Or, with a bit of legwork, become an untouchable gazillionaire. Tons of hustlers, plain criminals out there don suits. Fuckers are truly above the law now. Wow, just opened them up. Nice. Yeah. Nineteen. Odd. Red. Oh, putain. I won again. Place your bets, please. Have they not noticed that I've only been betting on red and black? And only red. Say something, little bro. Care to expand? Floor's yours. Allow me to say, V. Arms or property, it would make no difference to me what I sell. And to spend five years on efforts to... Uh, Change how people see you, call you. To be upstanding in the eyes of others. I could not give a shit. 18. Even. Red. Ah, damn. I should have bet on red. We won again. Place your bets, please. Getting there. Almost got it. Give me something big now. Make them laugh or cry, I don't care. Please place your- Like the tingle of risk? Oh, ma vieille, t'as pas d'idée. Thinking we can add a little spice to our game. I'm listening. My, my, I too, I'm curious. Oh, my money, my money. How about we go all in? Bet everything we won tonight. <gasps> and we play different colors, yes? You win or we do. And either you or we lose all. Oh my gosh. Nice. That's exactly. A moment. You join the table, buy drinks, talk and talk. Now you wish to risk everything? I find this disquieting. Perhaps you could now tell us about yourself. Sure. Tread lightly. 
Name's V, Afterlife Affiliated. Make what you will of it. Oh, are you happy now? You choose fast, then. I've been going red the whole time. Except for the one time for the dialogue, I think. I'm seeing red coming. Black for us, then. Oh my gosh. How much money did we have? We won quite a bit. I can't even see the spin over there. Allez, 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 allez. Will they even care if they lose money? They seem really rich. Thirteen. Oh! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you win some, you lose some, folks. Leave us for a moment, if you please. But we got the print working. I was like, is that Kurt Hansen when he walked by? A goodbye then. I thought I was going crazy. I know your friend Reed is FIA. My natural assumption is you're an agent too. I'm also guessing you two took it upon yourselves to save the president, then exfil her out of Dogtown. I should send you back to Night City in body bags, filled with pieces. You trying to scare me? Dunno. Are you afraid? We're just talking, aren't we? Both of them is admitting it. It doesn't change. Wow, you cracked it. Clever man. To be honest, I got tired of the media circus. All the allegations thrown in my face. The bullshit propaganda. Luckily, we can put all that behind us now. Oh, so you couldn't be happier we saved Myers after your botched hit. Right. Think you believe that less than I do. I will let you and Reed walk free of this place. In one piece. On your own two feet. Consider it a gesture of my goodwill. Notice how he never brought up Songbird. Your little bird came to me on her own, though. She was tired of breaking international laws on the president's whim. She simply had to run away. Breaching the black wall, jeopardizing the net, all humankind's safety, in fact, for personal gain. I wonder what Netwatch would say. Pass it on to President Myers. Also tell her, her toy of mass destruction is my friend now. And she should get the fuck out of my backyard, or the world will learn about her games. I've matters to attend to. You'll find Mr. Reed downstairs. Oh, he got kicked out okay, already. Vee. Got all we need. Sheesh. Colossal prick. Hear what he said? Yeah, caught it all. Didn't like it one bit either. Son of a bitch that I'd find Reed downstairs. Yeah, heard him. Wasn't crazy about his tone. Let's go then. Time to evac, V. Best not tempt the fates. Head to the elevator, ride down to one. Need to know what's up with Saul. Yeah. Man, so I lost 20k then. Could have won, but I ended up losing instead. That's enough. He didn't bring Somi up until the very end. You're going to eat something, Lizzie. No buts. You can't run on empty forever. <laughs> Let it go, Avi. I'm a firecracker on an empty stomach. You know that. <laughs> and the night is young. Oh, I'm I just don't want you to pass out. Just tell me where we're off to after we're done here. Right, we AV out to the island, and we'll hop onto a plane and fly out over the Pacific. The Pacific? Not a terribly precise destination, Abby. To a private aircraft carrying yacht, with its own tracking system. So we'll be flying full autopilot. Ah, adventure, yes! Hope you're as excited as I am. Lizzy Wizzy! That was probably one of your less exciting performances then. Didn't even involve you dying. Hey there, Lizzie. V, 
What are you doing here? Could legitimately ask you the same. <laughs> yeah. I might be a little out of place, but I get around. And Dogtown, well, it always gets my blood coursing. Fortunately, I have darling Avi here. Avi's my new bodyguard. The best I've ever had, if a little too overprotective. Pleasure, Avi. Hmm. Headset's Nova, Lizzie. <laughs> like it? Here, it's yours then. Oh, for real? Sure, got loads of them. You'll look like you're on Team Liz Wiz. It's liable to take you places. I want you to have it. Thanks. I'm Ikiri Soundcutter. This headset doesn't sharpen sound, it cuts it. Wow. Thanks, Lizzie. Next release? Planned? Maybe in the works already? Kinda. For now, though, I'm obsessed with galaxies, nebulae, and sea turtles. Uh, oh, part of her performance? Uh -huh. Care to elaborate? <laughs> v, with that you know more than my producer. Patience, please. You'll just have to wait. Looking like you're about to delta out of here. Making my exit soon, yeah. But from one party on to another. A chum of mine from Lagos is throwing one on his yacht. Friends, fireworks, diving, a private fashion show. Hmm, shame. Some R&R &R out on the water would do you good. But I'm sure you're, like, super busy. Plus, knowing him, there's gonna be drama, so I'm totally sparing you. Totally. Thanks. Invite me again later. Hey, how are you holding up? Last time we saw each other was, you know. I'm doing great. Really inspired lately. Never felt better. Yeah, never felt better. Hope it stays that way. Enjoy your evening, Lizzie. Take care, V. And you keep skating along that edge. So fun. Yes, I, I do remember meeting Lizzie. I'll be ready to bug out of here in five. Up to you, though. Oh, it's up to me? Come on. Don't act like you enjoy the jawing of these podium pounders and career criminals. Hmm. Yeah. Thought as much. In that case, I'm gonna hollow the landing pad. Unless there's anyone else you want to talk to. Well, I was hoping to have a word with Kurt about that. Other business. Oh? I can talk to him for you. No, don't bother. Another time, I suppose. You know, you shouldn't be talking to him at all. That man means danger, even for Lizzie Wizzy. You know my thoughts on this. All too well. That mean you listen? <laughs> oh, please. Oh, that's sweet. He really does seem like he cares for her. She definitely needs someone like that on her side. Would you care for a drink? One last one, and I think I'm out of here. Wait, was that a special one? There is a... This is yellow. I can't have a drink anymore. Oh. Hit me with something strong. Japanese whiskey, perhaps. I have an excellent single malt. How many drinks have I... Oh my gosh. Wow, all right. Impressive, as headpieces go. Same kind of Lizzie Wizzy was wearing. I'm not even wearing it right now. <laughs> Should I say too much? Yep, actually the same exact one. She gave it to me. Well, aren't you special? Come back if you need anything. People commenting on it. <sighs> That's the stuff. Can't believe I didn't barf. Huh. I, oh, I, I put it on automatically. Whoa, my hair is all like... Wow, I don't even recognize myself anymore. Hey, let, let me see myself again. Damn, look at me. <laughs> Alright, I really must be getting going now. Saul, we don't even know what state he's in. Goodbye, everybody. What a head 
dress. Are you one of the dancers? I am Lizzie Wizzy's. Oh, um, sure. Is everything in order? No need to worry. Routine verification. Please enjoy your evening. Is something happening? They probably found the dead people. People are checking. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Actually, the laundry room area, I think someone was there. But earlier. Let's get out of here. Thinking about what that prick said. Guy knows. Got some dirt on Myers. Can't imagine it happening. But if the public learns that any U.S. president willingly broke international laws governing cyberspace use... Then USA is fucked. Myers will either have to take the fall, let herself be buried in dirt for this, or she'll defy the world and spark another war. Fuck me! Songbird's a walking, talking WMD. And Hansen's got her on a tight leash. And he can prime her for use whenever he wants. Listen, V, we need to get her out. For everyone's sake. Oh, just once I'd like to see things go smoothly, as planned. This feels so very, very wrong. We gotta continue on the list of stuff feeling wrong too, by imitating the netrunners and all. You and your chum best be headed the fuck out now. Straight on from here, gonna walk you two out. Come on, V. No reason to hang. Reed. Not the time, V. Think you can <laughs> stand there and bark orders at me? Fuck the fuck off! Um, I mean, um, please make your way to the exit. Wow. Wow, I can't believe that actually intimidated him. That's weird. <laughs> this is why you're a random Vargas soldier and not up on the corporate ladder. Oh, Reed, I gotta fill you in on what happened. Songbird. Hanson said she willingly came to him. I don't even know who's on whose side now. Finally seeing sense. Leaving already? How was the party? You have a good time? I did have a good time, thanks. Lost some money. Ignore him. We'll be out in moments. Wasn't that hard? Hmm? You can use it to buy some food scraps. Treats on me. Is he cuffed? Whoa, he's wearing- he's holding a gun, that's allowed? They let him do that? Or is that some kind of a cuff? I can't see. Hey, at least we're getting a tour- Oh, do you mind if I have that? They really... Well, they're letting us walk outside without restraints and stuff. Pretty nice of Kurt Hansen. No stopping, let's go. Fuck off. Yeah, you too. Follow me. How things go, V? Got everything. All set. You got thorough scans of the runners. Both of them. Yourself. Yeah. I said, we got everything. Well, well. And then you, uh, excused yourself. Stepped away. Disappeared? Not quite. How about you spill where you been? What happened? Had us worried. The op was underway. I didn't want to jeopardize it, so when confronted, I behaved. They cornered me, got me before we could meet up. Forget the rest. How'd it go at the table? Anything to worry about? Hansen showed up, we chatted, threats were made, actually. Said if Myers doesn't let up, world will learn about Songbird, about Pierce and the Black Wall. He clearly knows what Somi means to the president. Personal WMD, you mean? Yeah, Hansen knows all. Need to get her the fuck out, Reed. Really? I was afraid of this. Okay. V, Alex and I have work. 
We need to analyze the data from Songbird. Might take a day or two. No worries. Prem, open comms line then? Sure. We'll work out a game plan. Get back to you ASAP. Oh, and V, bang up work. I wonder if you could have failed the scans. Huh. <laughs> that, that gun thing must be a bug. See us all. Is that your car? Do you mind driving me too? Bye, man. Well, all in a day's work or something like that. V, you okay? Disappeared pretty suddenly. Hope you're safely out of the sapphire. Looked dicey for a sec, but we're fine, all according to plan. Nice work. Even if Hansen suspects something, he won't be able to put all the pieces together. At least not yet. Gotta admit, once Hansen got his claws into me, I thought that was it. Game over. But suddenly you show up. You again. The right place, the perfect time. This isn't over, V. Not anymore. When you vanished, still not sure that wasn't on purpose. Is there a point in telling her that we suspect her, though? You really think it was my intention to be Hansen's prisoner? Please, I know better ways to complicate my life. Fortunately for us both, I never make the same mistake twice. But seriously, remember, we're in this together now. Stay in touch. I suppose it's a possibility that Kurt Hansen's just saying stuff to get under our skin. I don't know, everyone's doing everything. I, who the hell knows?